Dean, how are you guys? Well today, thank you. Good, good. That's always a, a good Christian, start. Christian, you, you doing well? Yeah, I'm doing well. Good, good. That's always a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, a little warm outside, but you know, is nothing, it, nothing too it, bad. Is it warm? Is it really? You know what? My wife was really, really happy last night when she got home from work and and, and uh, because I had gotten the HVAC guy out no. and, and the air conditioning was corrected. Uh, so it went out on Saturday ooh, after an yeah. uh, electrical fluctuation that blew our transformer. Nice. And uh, so we were without on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And so the house on Monday evening uh, uh, was about 84, 85. Oh. Um, so had the fans going. Yeah, each of the boys had fans on both <laughs> ends. And they, you know, my wife was pretty unhappy about that. But uh, the HVAC guys got out and took care of it, so we're all good. There you go. There you so, go. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, and that reminds people, you know, take check on the neighbors, especially the elderly, if you've got Absolutely them. Absolutely right Check now. on your, you know, be, be a good neighbor, because you never know when somebody might be out. Yeah, we've got those heat indexes now, 100, yeah. 105 each day, and boy, it's awfully humid out there. So people with, uh, you know, any medical issues, COPD, you know, diabetes, uh, the, the increase in sweating and things like that can throw off blood sugars yeah. and electrolytes. So absolutely, check on your family, check on your neighbors, and, and keep an eye out there in the community. What is you got for us this morning? Well, first and foremost, like you said, I brought my glasses so I could actually read this this, this well, month. Well, you are doing well, then. Well, you know, I, I'm doing great today. Either um, that or you're going to have to start putting, printing that out in larger type, maybe. Well, there's one or the other. Yeah. One or the yeah. Other. Um, well, we had our board report yesterday, our board meeting yesterday, and just kind of a quick going over the financials. Um, July, <coughs> like many Julys, um, was a little slow on the inpatient side and the outpatient side. Pretty normal. You get a lot of vacation time. You get a lot of uh, 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 both for physicians and, yeah. and providers, and then also for patients. Right. Um, so it was a little bit of a lower month in the in the uh, volumes area. So we ended up with about a twenty-four thousand dollar operational loss. Now that means within the four walls of the hospital, just our day-to-day -day business right. stuff. Now our net income, though, however, was about three hundred sixty-three thousand dollars, and that's from all of our other uh, uh, non-operational revenue contracts, things that we have going on. Um, in the organization, so year to date, that what that means is we're running about two hundred thousand dollar net revenue um, from operations, and about a two point four million dollar net revenue um, overall. Good. Good. So hospitals doing pretty well. We, uh, the team has really done well on working out expenses, making sure we keep those down, and and volumes for the from the community. We keep seeing an increase, and so we're getting really, really close to 2019 numbers. Awesome. Um, I think we're probably within six months of having our numbers in the clinics get back to where they were. And the reason that's important for the community is, is that that means they're getting back in to get their wellness checks. They're getting back in to get their normal annual mammograms and, and, and uh, uh, colonoscopies and blood work and those kinds of things. Not only did Woodlawn, but the entire nation saw a significant decline and patients just getting their annual checks done yeah. over the last three years. And so what that translates to a lot of times is that when the patients do come in, they're sicker. Uh, whether it's coming into the ER, coming into the doctor's office, if you've got somebody who has a COPD or diabetes and they don't get those regular checks, when they do come in and they're sick, typically they're very sick. Mm. And so it's really important to get back in and get those wellness things done. And, and we're starting to see that, which is great. That's good. Good for the community. Absolutely. Um, construction. Well, there is none right now. Well, you know, we thank finished. goodness. We finished. We, we did our uh, Fulton County Medical Clinic uh, um, open house was last week. We want to thank the media and, and the radio station here and, and everybody in the community for coming out and, and, and seeing us and sending us off a, a little ribbon cutting ceremony it was wonderful yep. um had a, had a nice turnout for that and and for those who were able to come you know we appreciate it and for those who weren't you know stop by um, it's a beautiful facility um, patients are really liking it it has a different flow than the previous uh a clinic um, physicians are you know they're they're getting used to it they've moved in now and you know they can find the band-aids right and they can That's find the, the 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 uh different uh, materials there so um, after you've been in a place for a long time, it, uh, you get used to certain things, and that move, we, we, we had to move things to new locations. Yes. So yeah. Everybody's not, got it's to the left, it's to the right this That's time. exactly <laughs> correct. So, uh, well, we you know, not, not, only, not only that now, it, you know, we talked a little bit about it last month, that uh, it just eases everything. Uh, you know, if a patient needs 
x-rays or something else it's, it's all within walking distance of everything yeah you know all the imaging departments laboratory all those kinds of things are right there and then you know heaven forbid that uh, you, you go to the e, uh, your primary doctor and you're extremely ill okay. and you need to go to the hospital well now you're right across the parking lot um, you know it's it's not that uncommon anymore for someone to show up at their office visit for their doctor um, whether it was downtown or um, Schaefer or Akron or Argus yeah. and, and we're having to send them directly to the hospital because they're very sick yeah. um, you know we've got a tough bunch of people around this community and a lot of times they don't they don't get to the doctor's <laughs> office <often as> possible <laughs> until it's in dire straits so uh, yeah that does help with that transition a little bit easier yeah absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so yes, yeah, stop out and see us anytime you get a chance. I um, want to remind the community of some new providers. Uh, we've got uh, four new providers um, in the community. Um, first is uh, Kyle Summers. She's our uh, nurse practitioner who's working in our occupational medicine and wellness departments. Um, that'll be officially opening in October. Uh, we'll get that information out to everybody as well. But her primary role is caring for the community's businesses. Uh -huh. So being able to get in patients for um, employee physicals, drug screens, um, if they get injured at work, those kinds of things. Um, somebody's just sick and they need to get in that day. And so it's kind of a, a same day visit. Um, she's gonna be there Monday through Friday and, and that's her entire focus is what can we do to help care for the community's businesses. Cool. So um, we welcome her on, on board. In September, we have um, two new providers. Uh, we have Elizabeth Rodriguez. She's a family nurse practitioner who will be working in our Ackward location. She's bilingual. Um, she's been a part of that community off and on for a decade. Um, and so we're, we're really excited to welcome her to the Woodlawn family and to that Akron area. She'll be getting out there in uh, mid-September and uh, we'll be up and seeing patients shortly thereafter. So uh, you'll start to see some stuff coming up from Krista about that in the, on the online and in the community from an advertisement standpoint. Um, also in September at the new Fulton County Medical location, uh, Dr. Anthony Witt, um, he was there last week for our open house to and be a part of the team and, and he'll be starting in mid-September. He's a young family physician who uh, came down from the Marshall County area and uh, begins with us in mid-September. So he's taking new patients on and uh, so you can call him schedule go. now, absolutely. Um, and then in uh, mid-October, at our Woodlawn Medical Professionals location, which is on the second floor there in the professional building at the hospital, um, Dr. Um, Amadi. Dr. Amadi is a family um, physician who um, is OB certified and does C-sections. Okay. So she'll be added on to that team and kind of boost up our, our maternity oasis area that we're That's talking about, cool. making sure that we can take care of the full gamut and spectrum for the families here. Sounds like uh, so, great things coming. Yeah, busy, yeah. busy on that front. That's Absolutely. good. Absolutely. That's good. Um, and then Chris is along today, kind of talk a little bit more about all the wonderful things we've done over the last month or so, <laughs> upcoming in the marketing areas. Uh, uh. Hi. Yes. So we've been super busy. We've been out in our community. We've met and greeted hopefully lots of people. If um, you haven't seen us and we're in your community, please stop and say um, hi. It really gives our team joy to meet those in the community that we have the honor to care for. Um, we're excited. We are going to the Bell Game on Friday night. Oh, yes. Um, we have 1,500 hot dogs. I share that to say that once they're gone, we're going to be gone. <laughs> but um, we will be at the Bell Game on Friday night from 5 to 7 as a pre tailgate. So come out, get a free hot dog. We'll have some games for you to play as you're um, standing in line to get in the gates or um, right before you um, hop in and you're waiting for the game to start. Cool. So um, we'll be there rooting on the winning team. And, uh, you know, we're, we're there to support the community. Yes, we're going to be cheering for our community. Um, also, if you want to, our um, social media channels, those are a great way to keep up to date with what's going on. I would long, we have a Facebook and an Instagram for the main health system. So always want to um, share that lots of good information goes out on those every day. Um, a lot of it about the health system, but also lots of it about um helpful tips for members in the community. So um, make sure to check us out as we're trying to earn the right to care um, for our community. Cool, absolutely. Sounds like lots of things going on. Absolutely, you know, we really did have a lot of fun this summer. Um, whether it was at the Cass County Fair, the Fulton County Fair, the 
the, the Fulton Parade. Um, we really enjoyed yeah. getting out there and the, passing out the candies to the kids and, and getting to meet yeah. people. So um, it's a new philosophy for Woodlawn Health, and we're just excited to be a part of the community. Can't wait for it to continue. Absolutely. Anything else this morning? No, I think we're All good. Right. We All appreciate right. you. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, stay cool and uh, have a great month. Absolutely. All Thank right. you. Woodlawn Health uh, Report here on the Johnny FM Morning Show. Thank you.